Hi, within this lecture we're going to see how to crack WEP encrypted routers passwords. Okay, so we're going to use AeroDump NG as we did before, but now we're going to introduce a new tool called AirCrack NG. So these are all related. Airplay, AeroDump, AirCrack, and we use it for the same purpose. We're going to do some network penetration testing and we're going to gather the password of some router. And as I said before, WEP is not safe and can be cracked within minutes if we have the optimum conditions in order to do that. And we're going to see how to get these optimum conditions later on. But for right now, remember that WEP is easier to crack compared to WPA and I'm going to tell you the reason behind it as well. So let me open my Kali Linux. Of course, I'm connected with bridge adapter and I have my USB Wi-Fi card plugged in and I can just use this USB Wi-Fi card in monitor mode. So let me confirm this. So I'm opening a new terminal here and first thing to do is just to run ifconfig in order to see whether my interface is up or down. So as you can see, I don't see my WLAN O. Okay. So I have to make sure that my USB Wi-Fi card is plugged in so that I can take this into my monitor mode. As you can see now, right now I'm connected to my ETH0 10025 with wired connection. So this is what we do in our um, NAT network. But as I plugged in, as I plugged in my USB Wi-Fi card, as you can see, I get the WLAN O. So I'm going to take this WLAN O into monitor mode and use it to run AeroDump NG. And before we do that, of course, we have to run Amon ng start WLAN O to take this into monitor mode. If Amon ng doesn't work for you, of course, you can use the alternative method that we have seen before. If I run iwconfig right now, I will see my mod is indeed monitor right now. So I can use Aerodump ng from now on using WLAN O mon interface right so you know how to do that right so you have to write aerodump ng wlan oman and it will start gathering information from around routers so let me just make this a little bit bigger so we can see it better um, maybe you have seen that my router is here so pop fiction I've changed my encryption to be WEP and we can see it from here as well, right? Pop Fiction use WEP encryption. If you use WPA or WPA2, this technique won't work because this is specific to WEP. So I'm going to focus on this line here. I'm going to just gather information from this specific router. So remember what we have to do, we have to specify the BSS ID and how do we get BSS ID? We just select it from here and right click, copy and paste it in here. So this is our BSS ID. We have to specify the channel, right? So we can see the channel from here as well. So I'm currently in channel nine, right? So let's see, yeah, I'm in 9. And then later on, we have to write out a file because we're going to use that file with aircrack. And as we did before, I will write dash dash write. And I think I missed one dash from here, right? So BSSID channel and write. And then we have to specify the name of this file, okay? So you can choose any name, but uh, choose something relevant. So I'm going to call this WEP crack. Okay. So I'm later on, go I'm going to look for WEP crack dot cap. So later on, I have to specify my interface. Now I'm ready to run this. So this is gathering information 
and this is gathering the information from the network that I want to. As you can see, now I see the clients that are connected to Pulp Fiction. And since this is gathering information right now, it's also saving to that that dot cap file. And I will use this dot cap file in order to crack the password. Right now, as you can see, there is a data column in here and we're gathering data. And we are gathering something called initializing vectors, IVs. And Aircrack uses those IVs to compare with each other and then find the password. And I'm trying to open a new terminal, but I cannot manage. Let me try from here. Yeah, say new terminal. Because as this is running in the background, I will have to crack, I will have to call Aircrack. Uh, at the same time simultaneously okay so open a new terminal here and run aircrack ng and later on you have to specify the dot cap file so i believe this will be webcrack one dot cap of course we have to confirm this if i go to home i will see that this is really webcrack one cap but uh, let me go to computer and then root. Okay, maybe you cannot reach home from left pane, but as you can see, this is indeed named as webcrack01.cap. So you have to write this exactly as the same in here, webcrack-01.cap. Then you can just hit enter. And now as you can see, um, it just compares the IVs uh, and if it fails to find the password, it just tries with the next IVs. So more data we have, easier it is to crack the password of WEP. And in order to have more data, we should have traffic in our router. As an example, you can just go to other computers on phones in your own network and try to download something or go to YouTube and watch some videos in order to generate traffic right now. And later on, we will see how to generate fake traffic as well. But for right now, I suggest you go to your phones that are connected to the same network and watch some videos in order to generate data. As you can see, it went to the other set of IVs, so it failed with 10,000 IVs, but it will continue to look for the password within the next set of data as well. And it will find generally between 20,000 or 25,000 IVs. And by the way, this technique won't work on WPA because in WEP, we have the same set of strings as a key, but in WPA, they generate some random strings in order to make it safer. And as you can see, we found the key. Okay, so this is the password of the router. Now we can connect to the router at this point. And I will show you how to do that as well. I'm going to stop it because we don't need any more data with control C of course and we have to get the password from here all you have to do is just actually to lose this columns and then you can enter the password with a1 b2 and everything now I don't see any connection because right now I'm in the monitor mode and as you can see we cannot connect to the mo internet with monitor mode then I can try to go back to the manage mode, but I believe the best way to do this is actually to restart the computer at this point. So let me take a note of this key from here, okay, and copy it and paste it into a leaf pad or something and save it to my documents or desktop, wherever you want to save it, okay. I'm going to call this web cracked and close it down and close down all the way up and then restart the Kali Linux from scratch. And 
you don't need to do this necessarily because you may try to go to the manage mode and then just restart the connection with service network manager restart and try to connect to the internet with our newly found password but I prefer to do this after I do some penetration testing and after I crack a password I believe this is kind of a habit that I need to overcome so let me give my username and the password and then maximize this window in order to test our newly find password since we freshly opened this Kali Linux now I should be in the managed mode right so if I go to here I will see that my Wi-Fi is not connected now I will turn down this not Siri but I turn down the wired network okay so I'm not connected to the wire but I will try to connect to Wi-Fi network with Pulp Fiction if I click connect it will ask me for a key and yeah I believe I should have done this first so I'm going to open my cracked found key and I will use this but first I have to lose the columns inside okay so let me delete all of this and I will just get this phrase here a1b2c3 and I will copy this okay and I will close this down or just go to here and try to connect to this Pulp Fiction network and say connect and then paste it in here and just hit run as you can see now I'm connected let me try yeah let me cancel this let me try to ping Google to see if I really have connection as you can see I got the response back it means that I am connected to the internet so let's stop here and within the next lecture we're going to see what if we don't have any traffic and how can we generate those fake traffic in order to collect IVs.